Good morning. This is John Carpenter, pastor of Waverly First United Methodist Church. Uh, This morning, we're going to look at uh, Perks to Price from John Maxwell's book, Leadership. Listen in to the scripture verse for today. It is from Luke chapter 8, verse 34. Jesus called the crowd to him along with the disciples and said, If anyone would come after me, he must first deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. May God add his blessing to the reading of his word. The leaders of our world, our nation, governors and local government officials, medical servants, schools, families, employees, business owners, churches, and many more have, all of a sudden, had to change their approaches for success. Honestly, that's a part of following Christ because we are always called to make the necessary changes to improve our service to him as well as those around us. As you've heard this week, change is always a part of life. For us who are older, we can, for example, identify with that best with just the forms of communication from the young to the old. Well, I can remember when one-on-one groups, letters, radio, newspapers, television, and hard-wired phones were most of the ways communication was given. And then was added wireless telephones, Microsoft, emails, Googles, websites, conference calls, Facebook, and the most who use Facebook are my age, baby boomers. Major ways of communication in 2019? A load of them. Listen in. As of January 15, 2020, just a little bit of time ago, Facebook, the greatest age group, was 25 to 30. Instagram, from 13 to 17, 75% use Instagram. Pinterest, 18 to 24, is the largest age group that uses that. The largest age group that uses Snapchat, well, 69% are the age of 13 to 17, and 62% of that are the age of 18 to 29. YouTube. 73% of all adults use that. Of that, the number one age, YouTube, 18 to 29. Number two, 30 to 49. Number three, 13 to 17. For all adults now, Facebook is number one. And for all adults, YouTube is number two. It's a lot different than it used to be. Nevertheless, a question I have is, will this time at home for entire families change the way communication is made? Will another one become the most popular? We also must be ready for change in the church. Just communication has radically changed. For me, this this points again to Maxwell's book, Leadership, because he looks at these four areas. Leaders recognize that everything is uphill. When you don't prepare, for example, for the worst, the worst will win. Second, leaders acknowledge that they must climb the hill first. Third, Leaders understand they can never stop climbing. Isn't that the truth? How are you climbing? How am I climbing to effectively address this changing world? As Jesus himself once again put it, if anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross 
and follow me. Part of our cross is changing as is necessary to communicate the gospel of Jesus Christ. Might we pray? Lord Jesus, help us climb the unclimbable. You did say we will do the impossible for you, and so we will. Help our leaders from all areas of life climb the current situation, which a response that is effective may seem impossible, but all things are possible once again, Jesus, if we just follow you. Amen. Blessings for today. Again, this is John Carpenter, pastor of Waverly United Methodist Church, seeking to become your trusted leader.